Hi there, my name's Adam and welcome to Local Bytes. Now today we're going to be setting up an ESP Home device with Home Assistant. ESP Home is incredibly simple to set up with Home Assistant. For this, you will need Home Assistant and an ESP Home device. Here I have one of our ESP Home plugs. However, this will work with any ESP Home device. First off, we need to go ahead and turn our device on. Next up, we're going to head over to our computer and go into the Wi-Fi settings. Now, in just a moment, you'll see a local Bytes PM Wi-Fi network. This may be slightly different depending on which device you're setting up. There we have it, local Bytes PM. I'm gonna go ahead and connect, and then Windows is going to open up the connection test as usual. So we can see a Wi-Fi setup screen. I'm going to go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi name and password. ASP Home is going to go ahead and try and connect to the network. So we just need to let this finish. Most computers will then switch back to your main network, but always best to double check. Heading back to Home Assistant, we'll want to go into our devices screen. You'll see we have a notification saying a new device has been discovered. And we can go ahead and click configure. Let's click submit. And then we can go ahead and assign it to an area. And just like that, you've set up your first ESP home device. So we can turn the device on or off. We can disable the button and disable the LED, for instance. Now, handy little tip with Home Assistant. If you go into the settings, you'll see that it's showing as a switch. We can, by default, switch between switch and outlet. If you're using this with a voice assistant, then you may want it to respond when turning on all your lights. To do this, we can go into the show eyes and change it to a light. This would be handy if you are using the plug for a lamp. And just like that, we have a new light entity. We can turn it on and turn it off as usual. Now, Localbyte's plug isn't very descriptive. So let's go ahead and update it. We can go to the three dots menu and then click on device info and we're presented with this dashboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the settings and change the name. Let's call it living room lamp. We can go ahead and click update. And just like that, it's gone ahead and updated the entity name. Finally, you may be wondering how to update an ESP home device. So we want to go ahead and install the ESP home add-on. Let's go into our settings, add-ons, add-on store, and go to ESP home. As before, we're going to go ahead and click install. Now that's installed, we're going to want to make sure start on boot, watchdog and show and sidebar are enabled. We can then go ahead and start the add-on. So here you can see our plug. I'm going to go ahead and adopt that into our dashboard. We can update its name if we'd like, and then we'll want to give it our Wi-Fi credentials once more and go ahead and click adopt. Now this is going to also set up encryption between the device and Home Assistant. Finally, the add-on is going to recompile ESP Home. Now the first time you do this, it's going to need to download a few things. ESP Home has finished recompiling the firmware and it's gone ahead and flashed it to the device. Now we can see that it's gone ahead and connected. Now heading back to the overview, we'll see that the device doesn't appear to be working. Since we've just updated the encryption settings, we need to reconfigure it with Home Assistant. So let's go into our settings, devices, and we'll see there's an option to reconfigure. Let's just click on the first one. It's going to start up a wizard and request our encryption key. Fuck. I'm going to go ahead and hard reboot the device. Since we've just updated Wi-Fi settings and our encryption key, it's going to allow it to re-authenticate with Home Assistant in a safe manner. Congratulations, you've reflashed and set up your very own ESP home device. That's all for today. Hopefully this has been useful. Until next time, I'm Adam, and this is Local Bytes. Thanks for watching.